So, hello, I'm Hannah. Um, today I am building in honor of the season. I am building a spooky graveyard. Um, currently in the basement area, I am actually building catacombs. So this spooky graveyard comes complete with its own spooky catacombs kind of in the basement. Um, <clears throat> I had a lot of fun with this build. It was pretty short. It did not take that long. It's nowhere near as long as, oh my gosh, excuse me. It's nowhere near as long as my other builds, my house builds. Um, and you know, there's really not like, you know, any graveyards in the Sims. Like what the heck? I swear in the Sims, all the other ones, like the Sims three is probably the one besides the Sims four that I am most versed in that I'm most familiar with. Like a graveyard was like a huge part of the game and there's like no graveyards in the Sims for except like one I think I think one of the I think the only graveyard is literally like the pet one there's like a graveyard in like on the island of Brindleton Bay like with the um where the lighthouse is but like it's not like that's not the lot it's just like a graveyard in it so Correct me if I'm wrong, but I swear there are no graveyard lots <clears throat> in The Sims 4. So I decided to make one, especially considering like how often Sims die and how there's like a lot, like like when a Sim dies, you get its grave. You get that Sim's grave. And it's weird to me to have like all these graves and like, um, I don't know what it's called when it's like. What are the things that are like, whatever, I'm not going to linger on it too much. You guys know I'm horrible at remembering words, but I wanted a place where if your Sims died, like you could come to the graveyard and put their grave so their ghost isn't constantly haunting your house. Um, Cause I don't just want to like release the spirit to the nether world. That's depressing. I want to be able to like contact the ghost for a little bit, but like, I don't know. And and now with seasons, like you have like Halloween. I don't think they call it Halloween. I think or you can make Halloween basically. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> mm. Bless myself. I had a little problem. Not a little problem, but it was a little hard to figure out this roof. So this is like the catacomby um, thing. I thought it was cool to use a glass roof. I think it kind of raised uh, the elegance, but I mainly made this lot because I wanted, um, yeah, I was trying to figure out a toilet, but I kind of just put a pea bush in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought it would be kind of insane to have like a toilet just like in the catacombs, but I want, I wanted to make a graveyard. So if you're, you can put it in your game. If your sim dies in the game, you can come, you can put their grave here. So, like, you don't have to have their grave in your house, which is always an interesting concept to me. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, when it's spoopy day in The Sims, um, and you have, you kind of set the thing, the, there's like a thing for holidays in the sims where you can like choose what your sim does and one of them you can choose is to like interact with ghosts and stuff so i felt as though that that one's really hard for me especially because there are no graveyards in the sims 4 so that's why i made this um i thought it was really fun to make something like a community lot i think community lots are really interesting um, this is just a, like, I don't know what it's called, like a default lot or something. It's not like any special lot. It's not a park. It's not like a museum or anything. It's literally just like the default lot. <clears throat> 
because with the other ones there are like um there are requirements for them but I don't like I don't think graveyards like at least not this one this tiny one I feel like they don't have like um like bathrooms or like it wasn't a big enough lot to need all of those things I did put in um those pea bushes and you can actually also woohoo in those bushes and um that's important because this lot's traits include I don't know what it is but if you if you conceive a child on this lot there's a possibility of it becoming a vampire so I thought that was fun um it is haunted also so ghosts should appear at night and then um what was the other one it was something spooky I don't think I did vampire layer because I didn't want vampires to just show up but it's some spooky stuff. This is a spooky, spooky graveyard. Um, so I did make it nighttime. I wanted to set the lights. So I actually did this cool thing. I think it's really fun. I used the, um, not that, don't worry. I used these paper lanterns from Seasons to kind of put them as like offerings around um, the graveyard. I think it made it super spooky, a really fun environment. Um, Sorry, I don't know if you can hear it. My mouse is like running around in her cage. Um, but, but I love the spoopiness. I love the spoop. You know, it is October. I was so excited to start making spooky things. Um, I actually made a spooky house, which I should be posting sometime this month. So if that's exciting to you, if you love Halloween, um, tis the season I will be posting those things I actually sh I forgot that I put like catacombs and stuff so I was trying to make this fountain and um it wasn't letting me place it where I originally wanted because there's a basement to this to this place this fountain's so pretty to me um I love like it's just like covered in in, in moss and plants and <clears throat> it's a little overgrown obviously this graveyard is a little unkept like who there's no you know who who comes to graveyards and and cleans them up I guess that's a thing um otherwise like I don't know that has to be a thing right like there they don't you don't just like have a graveyard and then like leave it to <clears throat> get disgusting like I guess they're like great not grave diggers oof like graveyard keepers is that a thing that would be the spookiest job I would be so afraid um I was playing around with the fences but I think I just oh I do put up some walls to make it a little more enclosed you know um I was playing around with this guy because I felt like he was the grave digger and then I kind of uh, oh this is fun so I I actually feel I made these graves like <clears throat> graves right um because obviously like that's a thing and I was trying to find something to be like a body to put in them but it was a little difficult um also I was contemplating putting patchy in but decided ultimately against it I think I ended up putting in these knights to like represent bodies um, there's nothing super spooky. I guess there's like a skeleton. Oh, so here are the screenshots. And these are some spooky citizens I made. They live in the spooky house I built. Um, but they're kind of coming, visiting this graveyard. We're seeing the spooky gargoyle. Um, <clears throat> I did take these screenshots during the day, which is a little less exciting. Oh, here are the creepy catacombs. I love these long hallways I didn't know like is that a thing like there's a spider in this in this web I didn't know that was a thing it wasn't there when I placed it um obviously here's a hidden doorway and through this hidden doorway is this creepy spooky place with some coffins um vampires can sleep in there here's a weird little corridor with a bird skull um, and these are my Sims just kind of hanging out in the graveyard. Like, they're so spooky, you know? They, I think she's getting attacked by bats here. Um, 
but they're so spooky they love it here so i wanted to thank you guys so much for watching um oh i did get some nighttime screenshots good i got one nighttime screenshot so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it you guys are the best if you like some videos if you're into spooky some videos please subscribe like this video so i know you like sims videos and whoop yep that's it okay goodbye you can leave now you're welcome to leave don't gotta stay you really don't bye thanks for